Houston, we have a problem. The problem is, it's overheating again. I had a new um, radiator installed. I got my belt done. Um, but it's still leaking and now we found out it's actually leaking coolant from the water pump so it's going back to the garage yay it's going back to the doctor mm. and hopefully after that see it's just leaking that one over there now so that's one be fixed Put new belts that's that one and now I need a new of those and also the cam belt needs to be done so it's, it's so yeah it's losing a little bit see it's not all the way to the top that one looks all right but um yeah I'm gonna throw a little bit of mix in there How much is that? Probably about a half a liter. Uh, it's more like a liter, to be honest. Oh, here you go. Now, I learned from the other guy at the mechanic that you don't leave it like that when it drips on there. You actually get some water and uh, spray over it. So when you spill a little bit, just make sure you get rid of it with normal water because it will just erode your engine. Or whatever part it touches the um that's not good so yeah i'm back to my old flat again <laughs> out of necessity um but it's good to check up on my daughter who's there as well my 19 year old daughter she's uh, she's pretty happy she's been invited to um a dance at Academy New Zealand uh, dance group which is uh, pretty high up to be honest uh, for three days for uh, yeah for a, a seminar which is good and um, I am actually just going to work um, to fuel up a bus for tomorrow because somebody's got a trip tomorrow and uh, to Hamilton so and apparently there's no gas in there and I'm the only one with the fuel card at the moment because my boss is on holiday yes <laughs> so that's what I'm gonna do that's my only task for today and then because I haven't been home like my flat um, for um, quite a while the garden is looking quite um, abandoned. Is that the word? <laughs> yeah, that's what happens when you're on the road all the time. I got a mosquito and I don't like mosquitoes. There's a mosquito up the front. I will kill it if I see it again. Well, I'm a murderer of mosquitoes. <sighs> yeah, so I'm only fueling the thing. But the thing is, like, I had to top up the water. Um, well, I kind of mix 
you, know, you don't top up with water because that's where you go wrong. Uh, you top up with a mix of uh, coolant and um, water in the radiator. Um, so it doesn't start rusting, you know, like... Um, or, uh, yeah, falling apart. So, but when you spill it, it was really... Um, somebody showed me that quite a while ago. Um, when you spill it, rinse it with water so you don't um, cause more damage, basically, um, to your motor and stuff like that. But cool, because coolant is actually quite, although it improves your uh, radiator, the rest of the uh, the, uh, you know, like the rest of the the motor can get some damage from it when you just leave it there and um, eat up the motor. <laughs> so yeah, you gotta put a bit of water over it to rinse it and so clean it up. It's the same with oil and all that stuff. You know, like, um, just keep your motor clean a bit. It's an old motor, you know. Like it's uh, this car is. Uh, 22 years old um, been running really well I do have a few problems at the moment I'm basically overhauling the cooling system on this one new radiator as I said before I'm repeating things but new radiator brand new radiator um, new belts which were sort of starting to fall apart that's why I had a breakdown at some stage, because the belt was half gone and then it just disappeared on the motorway. So I had a tow truck job, which is free because I'm a member of the AA over here for a long period of time. So I got that done, but obviously they didn't do a pressure test. and. Um, I just found out that uh, it's still leaking and it's leaking out of the water pump. Plus the cam belt just, again in these few weeks, started to play up, started to make noise. So that means that it's, it's out, of, out the way uh, as well and it will tighten up when you um, uh, start the motor and you start revving the motor a bit and it will tighten up a bit but it's it's just a, a, a sign of decay so put it that way so the cam belt needs to be replaced as well so yeah uh, I just spent uh, nearly a thousand dollars on this and um, I've got another thousand dollars set aside but I only bought this car for two thousand dollars I've had it for seven years without any issues so I'm gonna try to get through the next two years till my retirement at least with this car no I won't buy that bus that I showed you the other day no because that's my bosses I can use it though <laughs> I might actually <laughs> uh, but yeah I just gotta go through this and um, I haven't had a lot of repairs on this car so I'm quite happy with it. It is uh, nice and cozy at night time as well. I had to sort of put a few extra blankets in there, but you know, that's the winter. Winter is coming, or winter is there. Apparently the spring is, you know, if you look at the sun, yeah, like, things are popping up and sheep are, there's sheep being born and that's how we see that it is gonna be spring because all of a sudden they got these little lambs everywhere it's so cute yeah New Zealand so um, hopefully it's gonna be an awesome sunny winter because we had this horrible eight months of rain and storm after storm and cyclone and things like that so never mind um, so yeah, the car uh, is going back in repairs again. I'm not trying to use it much. I have to use it tonight probably because uh, we got a party 
um, at uh, around the corner from the studio to celebrate the finishing of the filming of Chiefs of War with the transport department. Boom. Hopefully, um, Jason Momoa is going to be there. A lot of people, they have bad reviews about him because apparently he's quite dominant. But uh, it would be nice if he is there. You know, he, he's got an invite, but I don't even know if he's in New Zealand or in America or whatever, you know. Uh, so we'll see, we'll see. But um, yeah, uh, so just fueling a bus today for a job tomorrow, which somebody else is doing, and then uh, go home to the garden. Urgh! That's the one. Why oh, these girls are short asses? Goodness me. Hey. Eighty-two percent at blue. So that's good. It's got half a tank. Oh, it should be able to get to Hamilton, but hey, he wants me to fuel it, so that's all right. We'll fuel it. So that was it, job done, fueled the old Zongtong, because that's what it's called, I think it's Chinese, Chinese bus. And now I'm on my way to my flat and do some gardening, although I hate it. Has to be done, nobody else will do it. Yeah, because um, I can't use my car too much. See, up and down work is like 7K. And um, that's manageable if you top it up. But I won't be going too far. I'm going to Waimauku today, tonight, and this is 15K. So. I need to make sure that I got a top up with me when I go there. I'll probably have a sleep out there actually. And then come straight back again tomorrow morning. Not go to any beach. No fun. No beach, no bush. Just park the car up as much as I can. Use it as little as possible till Wednesday, which is another five days away. <sighs> Never mind. A life of a van life. Huh? Just as well, I got a backup. Yeah, just as well.